one way repeated measure ANOVA or alternatively called repeated measure ANOVA or within subject ANOVA followed by pairwise comparison in graph pad prism. The statistical test is performed when there are one dependent variable and one independent variable that have several related um, levels or groups. Here in this graph pad prism, I had inserted uh, data from a study investigating the effect of exercising daily for one hour on the body weight. So there are 50 participants enrolled in the study and each participant weight was measured at different multiple point in time. Uh, the weight of the individual, each individual is measured at time zero, beginning of the study, and then after one month, and then after two months, three months, and four months. The uh, weight was measured in kilogram, and each individual has participated in the, in the study, and measurement were taken at different time point. So the independent variable here, which is the time or the months, have five levels in it, months zero to months four. To test and determine whether there is an effect of exercising on the body weight, and since we have here a related data, five different related levels, then one way repeated measure ANOVA will be performed to find out whether exercising can lower the body weight on a period when a person exercise for four months. To do the test, click on analyze and the software will promptly select one way ANOVA and on the right box states analysis or analyze with data set for the five levels. Click on OK. Since here we have a related levels, the experimental design will be each row represents matched or repeated measure. And for assume Gaussian distribution of residual, yes, use ANOVA since our data here is parametric. And for assuming sphericity, um, select no use geyser uh, greenhouse correction uh, recommended um, choice. Click on repeat or repeated measure and in the repeated measure, click on analyze using repeated measure ANOVA since we have here same individual measured at different time points so it is a repeated measure and for multiple comparison we intend to compare each level with another level so pairwise comparison for all possible combination so select the compare the mean of each column with the mean of every other column. Under the options, select the multiple comparison test and choose the tucky test uh, as the choice for comparing the uh, levels. Um, 
and then for residual no more choices just click on ok uh, two outputs will be generated the first one is the ANOVA result repeated major one-way ANOVA result showing that the summary if ratio is calculated and the p-value is significant as the p-value is less than 0.05 so there is statistically significance in the um, mean for all the four possible levels and the geezer greenhouse epson here is given uh, scroll down to the ANOVA table what is interested in this table is the row that shows between column as this repeated major ANOVA is um, um, within subject test and as shown here there is a significant difference as the p-value is less than 0.05 so this uh, repeated major one-way ANOVA uh, suggests that there is a difference in the mean for the five levels. To find out which pair or combination of pair that have a significant differences in term of weight loss, then multiple comparison will be used using Tucky test. In Tucky test, the five levels, which is month zero, is compared to month one, two, and three, and four. And for month one is compared to two, three, and four. And month um, two is compared to month three and month four. And month three is compared to four. So this Tucky test will um, examine all possible combination pairwise combination between levels and determine whether there is a significant differences in the mean or not as shown here there is no significant differences uh, in the weight for the level zero and level month one however there is a significant difference between um, level zero and exercising for two months and there is a reduction in the weight and so on so this is the way to perform one way repeated measure ANOVA in graph pad prism